You probably already know that you can use VS Code to define snippets for specific programming languages, but you can also create snippets that are enabled globally for all languages that VS Code knows about. To do that, we're going to go to the command palette here and say configure user snippets. And now we're going to create a new global snippet file here. So just select the option here and press enter. And we're going to name this, so let's just call this global. And it's going to now create a empty snippet file for us to define. And it's showing an example of a snippet that we can define here. So I'm just going to go and uncomment this. And this is using the same snippet syntax as VS Code's normal snippets. So let's say that I have a link that I really like inserting here. And I'm going to now just get rid of that. And let's say cat gif, um, and then update the name here as well. So this is the text that we would use to trigger it, the prefix. And then this is just an identifier for the snippet itself. Um, and you can see that this is pretty much the same. Just get rid of the des description here as well. This is pretty much the same as a normal snippet. But there's one additional field in the global snippets, which is the scope here. And this is defining which languages this snippet is enabled for. So here, I, it's, this snippet is only being enabled for JavaScript and TypeScript. Um, so if we wanted to add another language, I could just go in here and add a comma and say markdown, for example. And now it would just be enabled for these languages. So rather than having to copy this snippet around, I can use these global snippets to limit the scope to specific files. If instead I want to get rid of the scope and have it enabled for all files, I can just go in here and just delete the scope. And now in any file that I open up, so I'm going to just open a new file here and say HTML and say cat gif, you can see that the uh, snippet has been enabled, even though we didn't explicitly define it for HTML files. So the global snippet now without a scope is enabled for all files, or you can use the scope to limit it to specific files depending on your need. So that's global snippets in VS Code.